In this lesson on circle geometry, we are going to have a look at Theorem 3. Theorem 3. An angle on the circumference that is subtended by the diameter is a right angle. In Theorem 2, we learned that an angle at the center will always be twice the size of the angle on the circumference if they are subtended from the same arc, and in this case, arc CB. If we now change the point C so that C and B form a straight line, and then of course goes through the center of the circle, this line will then be a diameter, and then we can see that the angle on the circumference will then be half of that, which is 90 degrees. It doesn't matter where D is as long as it's on the circumference and formed from the diameter of the circle, the angle will always be 90 degrees. Our reason for theorem 3 is angle in a semicircle. Example 1. Determine the value of x. If we have a look at our picture, you will see that x is an angle in a triangle. And in this triangle, we also know the size of angle P, which is 55. Using our new theorem, theorem 3, we can also say that angle Q will be 90 degrees, because angle Q is formed or then subtended by the diameter of this circle, PR. So let's see how we are going to write all of this down. Firstly, I'm going to start by saying that I know that angle Q has to be 90 degrees. My reason for this, angle in a semicircle. Next, I can then go and calculate X by saying it is 180 degrees minus the other two angles in that triangle, the 55 degrees and the 90 degrees. My reason for this, interior angles of a triangle. And this means that x is 35 degrees. Example 2. Determine the value of x and y. Now, in this example, we will need a lot of previous knowledge on geometry, which we had a look at in lesson 1. The first part is to realize that AO, OB and OC are all radii and therefore equal in length. If we now focus on triangle OAB, we will realize that this is now an isosceles triangle, which means angle A will also be X. When I write this down, I need to make sure that I write down every single part that I use. So I'm going to start off saying that OA is the same length as OB because they are radii. Then from there we can say that angle A is then the same size as angle ABO, which will then be X. My reason for this, angles opposite equal sides. And now I can say that angle A plus angle ABO plus angle AOB have to add up to 180 degrees. My reason for this, once again, interior angles of a triangle, which means that x plus x plus 104 degrees have to add up to 180. And then 2x will be 76 degrees, which means x is 38. So to solve x, we only used previous knowledge. If we now go and have a look at y, we will use our new theorem. Our new theorem says that the angle, the whole of angle B, will be 90 degrees because it is formed from CA, which is our diameter. And angle B consists of X and Y. So I'm going to start off writing angle ABC is 90 degrees. My reason for this, angle in a semicircle. But now angle ABC consists of X and Y, which should then add up to 90 degrees. So Y is 90 degrees minus X, which is 38. And that means Y is 52 degrees.